Before I mag-start, uh, okay lang, uh, I need your participation on that. Please stand up. Please stand up. Tapos, uh, kung medyo alanganin nyo, ano, yung spaces nyo, turn na lang kayo sa left. Turn left, turn left. Land na. Okay. Since kakakain lang natin, so medyo huwag ka naman na tayo ng mabibigita. Na natutulad ko to, ano, manage pa kami. Simple lang. Uh, stand up lang, and then, first uh, move is, Right foot forward, bend your knees, shake your shoulder, turn your head. As for it. Okay. Now, step foot forward, bend your knees, shake your shoulder, turn your head. Okay. Another round. Sa pa ulit. Right foot, bend. Shake, turn your head. Okay, okay, run. Nasubay natin ang konti nga, no? One. Paaat tuhon, balikat tulong. Paaat tuhon, balikat tulong. Okay, thank you sa lahat. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so what? I just did is I lied. You first. So we tap it. Luggers need to lie. Pero hindi yung lie na ito. L-I-E. So you first. L stands for level up. Doon sa activity na ginawa natin kanina, yung usual na nursery rhyme ng mga bata, so ginawa natin ng konting twist para maging interesting siya. So, UB or not UB, kailangan mag-level up. Para ano lang yan, parang si OC na yan yan. Kailangan niyo i-level up yung mga taong niyo. So, kung happy niyo lang siya, or bread and butter, yun yung kailangan niyo gawin, i-level up. Ano yung kailangan i-level up? Writing style. Hindi porkit nagkakwento tayo, eh, kailangan labo-labo yung pag-kwento uh, natin. So, kailangan meron siya patutunguhan. So, para may patutunan tayo ng mga styles din, magbasa rin tayo ng articles and stories. So, at least doon, may mga makukuha tayo ng style kung paano pinagawa yung kwento, kung paano siya isusulat. Second, yung mga techniques. So, marami naman sa internet na makukuha natin na pwede natin i-research. Kung gano'n yung sinabi ni Mark Kalina, pwede ka mag-isang sa internet. So, yung doon sa mga tanan natin, sa writing styles, ano yung mga kailangan na meron yung gagawin natin? Una, intriguing yung title. So, kung intriguing yung title, makaka-attraction ng attention. Yung katulad mo nga doon, title ko, Vloggers with the Line. Bakit nga baka, siyempre pag ano, magsisinoon yung mga vloggers. Right there. Next, kailangan yung first paragraph, doon pa lang, catchy na siya. Na mauhook na yung pagbabasa para tuloy-tuloy yung basahin yung book story. Tapos eto, natutunan ko ito kay Miss Jair. Every time yung merong project na pinapagawa si Ms. Janet. Call to action. Laging lalagyan nyo ng call to action. Para pabalik-balik pa rin yung readers and followers. 
Sabi nga nung sa ano, di ba? Uh, yung bloggers, kaka po, di ba? Bloggers para na rin journalist. So, meron lang siyang thin na line between bloggers and journalists. Tapos, kung hindi nyo pa rin makuha at kung hindi nyo pa rin makatch ko ano yung kailangan gawin, meron akong ipipresent sa inyo na tao na pwede mo kayo ganit. <laughs> Yan, signature mo mo yun ha. Marami na winning na entry siya na mga write-ups. So, kung may gusto kayong tanong, gusto kayong malaman sa pagsusunod, kayo may ganit na to. <laughs> Next! Ano pa yung kailangan yung level up? Blood design. Yung blood design ninyo, hindi naman kailangan mag-stick kayo dun sa default na template. Eh. Pwede nyo ka, pwede kayo gumawa ng sarili nyo. Pero una, kailangan yung color combination. Huwag naman yung masakit sa mata. Kailangan ma maganda siya, ma-appreciate nyo rin babasa, at hindi siya parang gagano'n magpipigit-pigit every time nababasa rin yung blood. Pwede nyo i-personalize yung design. Kung kaya nyo, may photoshop naman, simple yung artworks. Or, pwede kayo bumili. Yung mga templates, mga ano, sa... Meron isa yung sa studio press, maganda yung mga nilalaroon. Tapos, kung sakaling, talagang wala kayong alam, hindi nyo, i-hire ko mga ito. Yan. Tuwan tanggap yung mga yan. Next, so pwede natin i-level up. Online presence. Yun. Ito naman, natutunan ko ito kay Abel Landres. Nung yung interview siya naman na nag-iwag para sa akin mag-start ng mag-vlog. Sabi niya, at least once a day, meron kang post. Yun yung ano niya. Tapos, interact with your readers. Kung meron nag-comment sa vlogs nyo, sagutin nyo. Pero kung mga trolls yung nag-comment, sabi nila, nila James, i-block nyo. Create a Facebook page. Siguro naman, marami naman gumagamit ng Facebook. Sa, so, yung mas kailangan na ano, mas madali yung makipag-interactive sa mga leaders. Share your blog post. So, hindi lang dapat sa Facebook, sa lahat ng social network na meron kayo, i-share nyo yung mga blog post. Hi! Innovate or invent. Ano ba yung kailangan yung innovate? Black presentation. Hindi lang puro na para letra yung nakalagay dyan. Nalagyan nyo ng pictures, nalagyan nyo ng videos, or nalagyan nyo ng infographics. Mas nalalala na dapat yung sa mga newbies, start nyo yung gawin yung gano'n. Contest or giveaways. Yan yung mga pwedeng mag-drive ng traffic in some of those. So, kailangan, kung magagawa kayo ng contest or giveaways na yung mechanics, something na interesting para doon sa sali. At the same time, maganda yung result ng traffic na buhay sa sali. So, let's go. Create events. Marami yung mga kilala ng vloggers, nagkagawa sila ng event para 
mag-boost mag yung kanilang mga traffic din. Tapos, interaction din sa mga followers that we don't see that. Community. Siguro naman, marami naman dito, nakajoin na rin sa mga communities na mga vloggers. So, doon sa community, pag yun yung kanina sinabi ko, share your blog post. Pwede nyo, may mga community sa pwede nyo i-share yung blog post. Pwede yung mga drive din ang traffic yun. Tapos, collaborate with fellow bloggers. Pwede kayo makipag-partner. Di ba? Meron kayong giveaways na gagawin or partner kayo sa ibang bloggers para mas maraming prices. Meaning ng E, Yvonne. So, nagawa na natin lahat. Nagawa na natin yung Nabang naayos na natin yung vlogs natin, naayos na yung mga private mga styles natin sa pagsusulat. Dapat hindi tayo mag-i-stick sa pagiging run-up vlogger na. Hindi rin tayo dapat mag-i-stick sa pagiging event vlogger. So dapat, mag-evolve din tayo. Yung vlogs natin, pwede mag-i-source na news. Pwede mag-i-source na news. So kung frequent yung pagsusulat natin, then there may mga interesting na news na pwede natin ipasok sa vlogs natin na nakabase ko sa mga niche natin. Online lead generator. So nagkaroon si Ms. Janet ng projects ng project before na online lead generator na kung saan marami yung ibang kilala ko dito as honey din doon. So pwede siyang gawin din. So, another means din siya ng income. Entrepreneur. Tulad ni Ray. Ray Belen. Yan. So, hindi lang tayo magiging vlogger. Magiging business-minded na, business-man na rin tayo. Tapos, yung kumakalat ngayon na invitation sa online, kung alam niyo yung Roar Award, Sino nakakaalam? Rara Awards. So, yung vlogs na, yung live art TV, so, hindi na siya dun lang sa pagiging vlog niya. So, nagkano na rin siya as award giving vibe. So, so, yun yung live. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so so we're open for three questions for Marco. Ako muna Marco. So so na mention mo kaya ni guys about yung yung jumping na parang from a first starter, pagdating on how it's hard, how 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 long yung process ng yun para sa yun yung process na from from the usual blogger na what. What did I do today? Where did I go yesterday? To a to a brand, you're you're talking about brands. You're talking about brands. Sabi ka ni Sir RP kanina, hindi siya mobiles. So it takes time. So yung pinakali na kanina is more than a year before ka mabigyan. Kasi kailangan mo establish mo na yung sarili mo as kilala ng blogger. Lalo na doon sa mga kilala natin, mga PR, mga, ano, mga brands. Kailangan mo muna makita nila na establish ko na. Nakikita ka online, nakikita yung mga posts mo. So yun. Okay? Anyone from the floor? Gentle sila. Gentle sila. Question po. Ay pala, nakalimutan ko. Ayan. Kung gusto nyo yung pala ako, mapala daw sa Facebook, Twitter, 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 Instagram. Sabi nyo. Pero ano yung pinaka-mail with you? Ang yung short kong ina-update, yung kwan na ito ito. Sa kayong graphic. Okay. So, wala ng question. So, thank you, Marco. So, if those, anyone na pwede magtanong sa'yo, hindi ka na-post sa kayo. Thank you.
Okay, so talking about our next speaker, talking about the growth of bloggers as content creators, as a founder of bloggers, something as aside from that, he works from digital, digital marketing consultant, social media entrepreneur, content strategist, and good sleep master in the Philippines. What kind of content that consumers who really consume? Here's Ray Baggio to talk about it. Okay, ano na po? Okay, siya ako naman. Okay, good afternoon. Again, I'm angry. And what I'm going to share with you right now for this afternoon is actually more of an observation that I have in the business about bloggers uh, since I started. I got interested in blogging way back 2008. So uh, the topic title is Group of Bloggers as Content Creators. Sometimes I get this question a lot, uh, what's the difference between content creator and a blogger? Actually there's, again, this is common. It's, there's a thin line, but it's actually important that bloggers would need to understand as for their their uh, yeah role as content creators, not just for themselves, the people who do work in or perhaps the people who do work in So it's really important to know the value of what you have. Because it's just like what you have right now is actually a You have the power to really make or break brands and products. And if you don't know how to use that power, then uh, someone else will. And you just feel like, I'll uh, just use my fucking blog. So you might just end up being a So again, um, let's proceed. Yep. Um, again, I'm bringing a bio. Aside from you. Okay. Kind of a fans. Later, later, future I am. Um, aside from being a blogger myself, I also do digital marketing. And I started, um, I'm the one responsible for this group of bloggers of Pinas. If you have any concerns, comments about your actual, uh, about the group, please just leave it down. But the, the, main of the, the main goal of the group is actually to uh, connect, learn, and share, or connect, share, and learn. Connect fellow uh, Filipino bloggers in one community, and then encourage them to share best practices in the industry. We're focusing on best practices because hey, we have a lot of bad practices. We do not have to mention. Lalabas, lalabas yan, pero best practices, dapat natin na tutunan. And then, um, share and share the best practices and eventually learn how to enhance your blogging experience. Not here in the Philippines, not just for bloggers uh, ourselves or uh, us bloggers, but also for the brands who we work with. Yes, I'll keep on mentioning the name or the, the, the word brand here because we need to really um, balance stress. Now, what you're doing. When you attend to events, you're not just there for the freebies and for the pictures and for the food and the free things you get. There's a reason behind why brands, big or large or small or, or only classic brand man or product, would need to have bloggers. And that's why it's important to harness this power that you have. Because every brand, brands, have a clear understanding of content marketing and its role as a, a grown-up company to tap bloggers, but also tap bloggers. They know the, 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 the value of what bloggers can do for, for them and for the brand. Even those brands who don't have any idea what content marketing is and how, how to use it for, for their brands, would even tap bloggers as well, just because the others, you know, the competitors are doing, doing it. So, 
nandun pa rin yung role ng mothers. And we're not really empowering ourselves or doing much about it. We just go to the events and then feel that we're just numbers. Now we would wait for invites na, uh, it's not bad to, to present yourself sa mga events. So you go to the groups ng mga mothers, you will get this a lot na. Um, a brand or a friend of mine needs 10 food bloggers who's interested. Then you will sign up. Please put in your email address and then you would do so. I did. I do so uh, every now and then as well. But the thing is, that's a good thing because it will improve your exposure and, and, and all that stuff. But would it be nice if you wouldn't have to sign up because brands will call you and they know who you are, what you can do for them. And then they will ask you, hey, um, or use your email and say, uh, hey, um, Carlo, um, we are launching our product and we know we want, we, we've read your, your blogs, your content, and really want you to be part of it. And you'll be given VIP, VIP passes. That's just for you. Because you know, they know the value of what you can provide for them. So isn't that like an ideal thing for me to do or to achieve? Instead of waiting for, Oh, it's good, huh? I say it's, it's good exposure, but don't stay there. That's why it's doing. And brands, they may tell you or not, but you you um you have really good value for them. And not just you want to be a say on a previous it's actually appreciation, but if you come to think of it, um you can value yourselves more if you want to grow, if you want to feel that power or harness that power, then you need to grow as content creators other than just playing bloggers and attendees of events. Okay? So, the question is how? I, I don't know the answers of uh, most, of, most of the time. As you can see, I'm not really growing. Pa, so, uh, <laughs> but how do you grow as from a blogger, from a regular blogger, to a content creator. The difference, by the way, um, when you say blogger, the good, this is the power of, of bloggers. You infuse or you present, we present the personal touch or the personal, uh, the human touch in terms of marketing. That's why your relationship natin or yung isusulat natin, our readers can relate to us. We're not brochures. Okay, so that's the difference. When when you talk about content um, content creators, what they have in mind is the audience, the target audience, the content I will be creating. Is it going to excite or entertain the audience? But for bloggers, we think of uh, if you're a food blogger, how does it taste? I really hate it. I don't care about if you feed if a uh, reader would say, you know what, masarap na siya. So, my thin line na difference between the two. And if you are a content creator, you will think about the audience. And that's what your brands would want. A content that can convert for them. Okay? So, here are a few observations that I had and gathered uh, over the years. First is you need to focus on your brand. If you're a food blogger, stick to it. Don't don't blog about food and then you post about like tech or gadgets, uh, social media, and you talk about about all other stuff. Stick to a brand and know what type of blogger you are and you want to be, and then grow as as such. Okay. Next, um, be engaging. When you share your links, the blog post, don't just share the links. Um, when you go to your news feed, especially for bloggers, you see a lot of links, just the titles, the links, but it doesn't really give value. And you expect everyone to click on each blogger's link every time. And entice them, entice your readers. If you can't come up with 140 texts or characters to describe or to entice and entertain, entertain or to engage your readers to click on your link, then your content really sucks. Ikaw nga, ayaw mo i-click, eh, 
Wala ka lang ikita eh. Bakit i-click mo? Diba? So why do that? Why be rude? If you find value sa content ko, then show it. 140 characters is just too short na ma-explain mo siya sa Facebook, diba? Ganun. Be engaging. And then, um, entertain questions din. Kasi you can, you can help promote the brand you're writing for or working with. And then, be collaborative. You have a support system. We have a lot of fellow bloggers out there. Collaborate with them, not just over social media, but also with your content. Imagine if my followers and one of your followers, if we can create, like collaborate together, a content, because we were in that, we're in this event, and then ako at Marco will come up, I will come up with a content, including Marco, and Marco will share the content that I, uh, that I will talk about, and then I can tap his followers. And I'm not only helping, he's not only helping me uh, expand the reach of my of my content, but actually we're building relationships together. Hindi masama, hindi ano, romance, hindi romance ah. Okay, kami na ni Cardo yun, so sorry Marco. So build relationships, be collaborative, it will bring more, it will open more doors, and bring more opportunities for you and for the other person as well. Be creative. Bloggers these days are not just writers. Bloggers these days are also photographers, uh, food critique, uh, travel um, gurus, tech um, gurus, or what are the things we can do? And we have the platform, we have the tools available for us, free money or or pay, that we can be creative in our blog posts and our content. Don't just stick to plain text. Kasi boring siya eh. Diba? Nagbasa naman kayo ng mga blogs nyo mismo or sa ibang blogs, diba? If you can't read the whole thing or if, if ikaw mismo nagbubor sa, sa content mo, again, why do, you, why do you give the same pain? Diba? Don't be rude. Be creative. Love your content. If you love your content, then perhaps people who will think the same way that like you do will also feel the same way. Okay? And last is read, read, read. No, I don't read a lot of books, but reading doesn't have to mean having a lot of books to read. It means reading materials like online or you have your tablet, your smartphones, use them. And every now and then if you see an interesting uh, post from your fellow bloggers and and they took the time to come up with clever or exciting captions. Do yourself a favor and click on it. You're not only helping that blogger to, to, to improve the rank, but also you're educating yourselves. And you're not only learning what to do with your content, how to improve, but you're also going to learn what not to do. Especially if you're bored with these contents, then you would know what not to do and not copy this person's uh, style of writing. So, I think that's it. And if you do the same things or these things, hopefully you become someone brands would want to work with later on and not just be one of the numbers in the spreadsheets. So, thank you. Is Len here now? Jace from Jimmy's hand in here. So, do any of you want to see Ray? Do any of you want to see Ray? I'm sorry. Ray. Can you see Ray? Can you see Ray? Okay, I'm going to see Ray. Okay, questions for Ray. I'm going to see 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 Ray. Okay, lang yan. Do you see our panel? I don't know. Do you see our panel? Actually, kasi... So, what is that? Paano kaya? Kasi, tulad sa akin po kami na na ang dami ng vlogs. And we will tell you a vlog. Pero, tapos, siyempre, magandang content. Ano na yung pwede? Okay, I'll talk to Angela. Kasi, 
in the blood, di ba, kailangan mag-focus attention. Uh, so, um, of course, ako na dito, marami ng blood. So, ano ba yung isang tips na pwede mo magiging ay para makuha yung attention or computer para talaga pa engage siya yung isang blood? Okay. Good question. Parang po, actually, ikaw yung magiging basis niya. And what you brand is, what your blog's brand is. If, let's say, food ka, kung lang kasi nga yung party, but hindi mo kailangan puro restaurant reviews na, you can be creative. If you know, if you have a strategy, tapos, ikaw mismo will be the basis of whether your post is engaging. Try to, after you publish, or before, even before you publish, try to edit it. I, I'm not really a fan of editing because I, I'm okay with with uh, parang spontaneous lang. Pero, you only do that, it's risky. But make sure that when you read it again, hindi ka ma-aantokin. Kung ikaw mismo aantokin, then scrap it. Kung hindi, then stick to or, or think of the audience that you're trying to target. Don't please everyone. It doesn't matter kung yung sa out of the 100 networks or, or, or follow sa'yo, isa lang makakagusto. At least that person will be will stick with you forever and who knows who will be your brand ambassador pa. Diba? Kaysa mag-like ka ngayon ng 100, ang like ka naman, hindi naman si-share. Hindi naman sila maging okay sa sinasabi mo, hindi ka promote, diba? So useless na. Just stick to what you are passionate about and ikaw yung magiging measure actually. Hello, so how to get a lot of followers? Because let's face it, there's a lot of people na may mga blogs na they have a lot of followers pero yung content nila not that much. But there and may vice versa din na you can be a creative writer, you can be the person who better proves but. Alay, konti na yung followers mo. And some people, most of the brands, prefer yung mga maraming followers. Pero konti na yung content. Ano, content yung content. Dan, dan, ano. So, reality siya. Ano, so, ano. So, the question is, how can you get a lot of followers in a conference? Okay. Good question, pero medyo tricky siya sa akin. Ako, if you look at my blogs, the contents, I don't have a lot of followers. So, this one blog site ko. So, I compensate. What do I do? Marami akong time, so sa Facebook, sa LinkedIn, wherever I am, maximize what you have. Um, kung wala kang followers, don't fret, huwag kang kumihak dyan. You have friends, di ba? Ask them, ask questions. What can, what can interest them? What can catch their attention? It's easier to capture followers and likers or, or, or nag-engage tayo sa social media. And then eventually, just drive them. Drive them to your blog. Don't, don't be, parang wag ka magmanali. Followers will come, and even if they're, they don't have, you don't have the numbers, but if you can convert, magaling yung mga conversation mo. With these brands, they have their own monitoring kasi magalap na yung followers mo, wala namang nagbabasa. And you just share the link, wala namang nag-click. Wala namang comment wala namang gumagamit ng hashtags mo. So anong mangyayari doon? What I do is, when I go to the events, if you go to the events, if you have mobile data, we share. You don't have to wait for your blog to, to, to bring value to that event, to that uh, brand. Just use whatever you have. Share on share. Romance, whatever, mga hashtags. That, that can be relevant to the person, to, to the brand. Last one. Sige po, sir. Make it short na lang po. Did you appreciate mo yung content later sa blogger, right? Tama ba yun? Specifically, you mentioned yung target ng mga blogger is personal or yung content later is more